What's up guys and welcome back or to the channel. There's your little sneak peek. I have the wheel turned around and it's not fully mounted. And it's still blurry because of the, the focus. But you guys don't understand how this truck is going to look. Um, when Alpha Rex came out here last week, we hand mounted that partially just to see. And this truck is going to come together absolutely nuts. However, in that, I'm going to need your guys' help to help me finish this. Let me know all of your opinions about everything I will tell you down below. Because I seriously, um, kind of stuck on a couple things, but let me know. Well, the good news, is, yeah, good news is we got our backup camera back, but we installed the bumper. Well, not really the bumper, but all the harnesses could, could connect, but. So as you saw, we did a couple things to get us really prepared for finishing this truck up. I was gonna sit there and buff this tailgate and then put the Longhorn emblem on it, but uh, I think the buffer's at home. And I was like, you know what, I'll do it by hand, because you can do it by hand. And um, it's just like, not say severely scratched, but you know, it, it does need a decent amount of, uh, of buffing on this lower half of the tailgate. Surprisingly, where we took off the emblems, uh, absolutely nothing, just nothing, nothing really wrong with this paint, surprisingly, even after that plastic. Now please, <laughs> 
Please do not go buy those plastic scrapers. Take your emblems off and think you're gonna be good. Um, that was because I am going to buff the paint, but if you do that, you're gonna see scratches. Uh, trust me, it's not even that bad here, though. It's probably, honestly, the best place on this truck. There's very few swirls, actually, and scratches, for that matter, but um, uh, obviously, be careful if you're gonna use a plastic scraper. But um, I did that because we're gonna buff that section, and then we're gonna put our Longhorn emblems on. Well, I know some of you are gonna sit there and be like, no, leave it debadged. It does look decent. I will say decent. However, this is just gonna look a ton, a ton better, especially with the chrome mirror and everything back in there. Looks a little out of place right now because obviously the handle and the other thing's missing, but when the mirror's on, especially with the chrome cap, it's going to look just outstanding. Honestly, it's gonna look really, really good. So, which leads me to my slew of questions for you guys, because as you can see, we put the bumper on and you're gonna notice, or some of you may have noticed or didn't notice, or now will think about it after I say this. You can see that our hitch is still black. Now, we we're gonna take this off, sandblast it, and take it to my buddy's oven and powder coat it, because he's got an oven big enough to do so. We were gonna do that, but then we're looking at it, and to get the hitch off, you have to unbolt the bed again and jack it up and get the hitch off the frame. That was the first thing. The second thing is sandblasting. It'd probably take me three plus hours to do it with the sandblaster I have. Um, at seven bucks or something for 50 pounds at Tractor Supply, I would have just assumed we'd have probably go through a decent amount. Um, so that would just get expensive and wasteful. The nearest places that don't only sandblast, but also powder coat, and what do you know? Two and a half to three weeks out everywhere around. So we're already behind. So if you wanted to get something done, if I want to take this hitch or like two and a half weeks out, it's like, all right, well, I take it up there. And they said, well, we may be able to get it done in, you know, prior. So, all right, well, we take it up there and it sits there for two and a half, three weeks and finally gets done. All right, well, this truck can't drive for two and a half, three weeks. So that sucks. I want something big enough to or big enough to one powder coat my stuff and two big enough to sandblast my stuff because I like relying on other people. I just can't, it's crazy. For right now, it's gonna stay black and I'll get like a Gen Y or something in there and uh, just a little drop, nothing fancy. Probably the little three, the little three piece. And uh, we'll do that, the lollipop red. So in the future, the hitch will still probably get done at some point, but at this moment, um, not so much. It's just not gonna happen because again, three weeks out just to get the thing sandblasted. And then I gotta team up with, uh, my buddy and whatever else to get time to sit there and powder coat something that large and do all that as well so at the moment unfortunately it's gonna have to stay like that but that's that's we're good it's black on my other truck next thing these fender flares i don't know i cheaped out and they fit okay they're not the best however in that it's like okay well i can go get the oem ones again if i wanted that'd be like 400 bucks i do love the flare look especially with it being a longhorn now they technically should come with it. However, they, they, like these are the questions that you guys need to answer for me. Do I leave this without the flares on it? That's like the first thing. If I leave it without the flares on it, we're gonna get this, we're gonna get more stance, and I don't have to order any, I don't have to paint them. I can always still finish the truck, and if I want the flares, buy the flares, paint the flares, and put the flares on in like no time. Let me know what you guys think, obviously. Um, the wheel, you're gonna have some serious stance. Don't worry about that. So the flare, I don't think will affect it that much. Tell me if I should just leave it clean like this and not put them on, but also I love the flares, so I really do wanna put them on, but if, you know, maybe we just leave the flares off this one. I am an OEM flares guy, but maybe we leave it naked. We were pushing and pushing and pushing um, Alpha Rex to get some clear lensed tail lights for this truck. Uh, they only make the smoke ones at the moment and the chance of us getting them in a reasonable manner is, is probably not gonna happen just with everything going on right now and them having to order a certain amount of units and all that stuff to get them here. Um, but the Alpha Rex tail lights are probably not gonna happen. So I need a new third brake light and a new set of tail lights. Flood the comments also with your recommendations for that. I could do the Mori Motos again. Um, I could do a set of Recon and do the matching third. I could do exactly what I did in my green truck with the uh, Morimoto tails and just a recon third brake light, color matched and all that. Uh, I'll probably hit up my guy at Retro Shop just to take care of that because he's got it all in stock and he, he said do, opening the Morimotos is a pain. So I'll probably let him take care of that. But um, should I do that? I think that would look pretty sweet. I know a lot of you are gonna say the fifth gen tails and um, I thought about it. Still am thinking about it. So if there's enough desire for it, I may go that route. 
Um, but if you want me to do the fifth gen tails or a set of Morimoto's again, you know, the whole holographic thing, just like the green truck, uh, let me know that in the comments below. But like I said, I need to make a decision here so I can order them and this truck can be finished and on the road. As for the inside here, guys, um, this thing looks really good, all like long horned out um, with all the chrome and everything matching now. It looks really, really good. So as you can see, there's still a mess in here. I'm still trying to figure out the audio. I was in the Alpha OBD and I just couldn't, I, I couldn't get the radio to reset and do whatever. So sound comes out of the speakers anymore. So I'm probably going to take this to a dealer. They'll hook it up, see what they can do, and uh, get it running again. I think once everything's back together and, you know, the seats are plugged in and other stuff, I think at that moment, things should work as they should. So, gonna hold out on that. That was my point here, is I think I'm gonna reassess. My seatbelt should be back here Tuesday. Safety Restore was um, trying to get the yellow webbing, and they were having a hard time doing it, but they finally got it. Seatbelts are all good, and they're coming back. They should be here Tuesday. So, we'll have the seatbelts back here and then when that happens, I can put this whole interior together because for the rear, the seat's got to be out to do it. As you can see, the back there and up the, the, the pillars. The front, you could take them out without that. But yeah, I need for the back at least, I need the seats out. So I can't put the interior in here until then anyways. And I think at this time, I'm probably going to leave the whole audio system out of the truck i want to get the audio back working again i'll leave the amp back there and stuff just so when i want to throw the subs in i can do a line output converter and do all that stuff and just tap in and go this truck technically should be back all together and our wheel and tire machine is coming so the wheels and tires should be on it here's i think one of the last questions i have because this truck is the usable of the two not saying the green truck isn't usable i still use it till this day but now that i got two of them and this one's decent height should I take this tonneau cover and put it on the green truck because it takes up a good chunk of this bed space? I think that I should put this on the green truck. Take these off. I want to paint these rails yellow this week as well. Be more practical on the green truck, I think. Um, I don't know. I may take it off and not put it on a truck and sell it to one of you guys, so I, I don't know yet. <laughs> I told you guys I got a lot of questions for you guys, but the bed liner, just hear me out. Should I shoot this red? And some of you were thinking, what? That is bizarre, but that's exactly my point. Should I shoot this bed liner red? I've got enough tenable, you know, bed liner kits. I think a red liner in here would look absolutely nasty. And with the tonneau cover off, just walking by it in a parking lot, you're gonna see it. And then obviously the bed is gonna stick out. So it's just one of those things where it's like, why not you know why not do it and uh, we just shoot it red and call it a day so I'm thinking about doing that I can also technically shoot it yellow but I think red with the offset would be just nasty um, I feel like that would be super super clean and very unique um, flood the like I said flood the comments below and um, these are the last few couple things I need to straighten out and then Honestly, the three videos that should be coming your way this week and this truck should be not only together, all pretty much done. I mean, a few things here and there, exhaust, a um, couple more mods every so often if I go under the hood, do some crazy stuff. But um, this truck is gonna be rolling again. We can drive it and it's just gonna be sick. So um, answer those questions for me, guys. Let me know. Uh, I really wanna finish this thing up. And um, whole this whole thing's gonna get paint corrected. We're gonna do that. Uh, we're actually gonna use Jax Wax's new graphene. Like it's like a better ceramic coat, so we're gonna do the whole truck, get that going. Like I said, have the mirrors are gonna be mirrors are probably gonna be painted tomorrow. Actually, same thing with the handles. We're gonna sand them down, paint them, uh, get our inflatable booth open, do all that, get the new emblems back on, get this thing buffed. Yeah, guys. It, like I said, it, this is this is these are like the tedious days here at the end where I gotta really work on this and just figure out a few last details and then uh, we should be done. And then we got a whole bunch of fun stuff coming to you this summer, don't worry about that. But in the meantime, um, this thing's just kicking my butt because it's just a lot of little things. Not a whole bunch of like, not a whole bunch of big things, it's just a lot of little, little things. All right guys, well I apologize for kind of the short, quick upload, um, but I, like I said, I do need your help on finishing this thing up. And um, if you enjoyed this video, shoot this video a thumbs up. If you haven't been here before, please get down there, click subscribe. While you're down there, tap the notification bell, click all so you don't miss out on any of the uploads. It's free and YouTube will always notify you when a video goes live. We're here guys, this week, this thing should be rolling again. We should have this thing done and uh, hopefully, early next week or maybe even Sunday we'll have this thing this reveal video for you and I think you guys are gonna 
just drop your jaws because those wheels on this truck look just nuts. Thank you guys for your support. Thank you guys for tuning in for this long, long build series. But like I said, this is pretty much a baby SEMA truck and doing it in like three to four, maybe five months is actually quite impressive. So um, shoot this video a thumbs up for that. Take care guys and I'll see you guys next time.